Hi everybody, I'm Josh Toso back again with you, one of your hosts here at the Sailing Leadership Forum. We just finished off watching an amazing session called Not Around the Buoys again. I'm here joined by uh, Nevin Sayre, uh, John Pierce, and Todd Carl. Uh, Nevin, uh, give us a quick synopsis. What was that session all about, Not Around the Buoys again? So, in sailing, we've been doing for a long time around the buoys, windward lures, windward lures, and that gets old for kids. And kids, you know, look at other sports, snowboarding, skateboarding, they're going, doing cool stuff. They're going over obstacles, they're doing freestyle. We've got to bring that into sailing. So do things like that in sailing. So we do these things called unregattas, where we do fun stuff, like literally between one mark and the other mark, they have to stand up. Or between that mark and that mark, they have to capsize. That mark and that mark, they do a 360. And it's not all about the results, it's more about the boat handling and seamanship. And the kids have fun doing it, and they get really good at it. We've seen tons of videos from uh, the program that you guys did at America's Cup. Kids love that. They really embrace it. Uh, you know, we're also here joined by John Pierce, Youth Director of USA. John, I know you've been working with some other sports. How have you seen these principles played out across the country in other sports? Yeah, I mean, the theme is that um, youth sports in general are realizing that you need to see the activity, the sport, um, from the kids' perspective. They're smaller, they have a different attention span, they have different interests and capabilities. And instead of inserting the kids into an adult environment and expecting them to thrive, let's see it from their perspective, ask them what they want. And if you look at uh, USA Hockey implementing cross-ice hockey, small-sided games to improve skill development, more touches, more shots, more scoring, more kids on the ice, or tennis with smaller courts and balls that bounce less so kids have an easier time controlling the ball and can rally and really be engaged. Um, or even just like obstacle course racing, adventure races, things like the Spartans kids race. Um, it's fun. Kids want to do that and it's happening in sailing so it, it really validates that we're on the right track with that stuff. It's great to see that happening. And Todd, uh, Todd Carl here as well from Hawaii Kai Boat Club all the way over from the far left coast. Uh, <laughs> I've heard that you've been putting some of these principles to work and execution over at the Hawaii Kai Boat Club. Uh, exactly. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, exactly. So basically taking the equipment and the skills, uh, it all comes down to a three-letter word, which is fun. Basically, we just want to incorporate the uh, uh, standing on the rails, the caps, capsizing, uh, the equipment. We even offer windsurfing and foiling on windsurfing. It all comes down to how much fun are we having. And that will sell itself, and the programs just take off, and we're, we're enjoying every moment of the trip. Nice. Well, we had a great time watching that session. Guys, thank you so much for running it, being here, sharing your knowledge. All of you, stay tuned with us throughout the weekend. We will be coming to you with interviews with other people, uh, some demo time out in the water tomorrow afternoon, uh, and rap show tonight. Make sure to stay tuned after our awards celebration. We'll give you a rundown of everything that happened. So stay tuned. We'll see you in a little bit. Are you going to be rapping? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Cool. You know it. Rapper's delight all the way. Oh, stay boy. tuned. Right. <laughs>